What up guys, it's Red on Sports News. Today we're going to be talking about the NFL preseason. It had already started with the Hall of Fame game, so we already seen a little bit of a game, but now we're getting into it where all the teams are going. First, the Hall of Fame game, we, all we saw was the Ravens and, well, the Bears. Ravens and the Bears, and nobody cared. Nobody really cared. I mean, we saw Lamar Jackson. We saw RG3. I personally love RG3, so seeing him back out in that field was awesome. He did pretty good. He went, what, 7 for 11, 50-some yards, a touchdown and interception. So not horrendous. You definitely want to see more improvement coming up, but not bad for RG3. Lamar Jackson definitely looked like a rookie out in his, really just the, his start of his NFL career. He looked like a rookie and threw an intercept, what, one or two interceptions? And you can expect to see a lot, a lot of interceptions from mainly almost all rookie quarterbacks in preseason. Rookies do throw a lot of interceptions. They're known for it because they're just getting acclimated to the NFL game and really pro-style defenses. It's normal for rookie quarterbacks to throw interceptions. So it's not something that you should get worried about. Obviously, the Ravens getting all gung-ho about Lamar Jackson in practice was pretty stupid of them. They should have known that. And the fact that quite a few people from the Ravens camp were talking about, oh, let's put Lamar Jackson ahead of Joe Flacco. Slow your roll. Let, let's, let's pump the brakes on that bus there because I don't think Lamar Jackson's ready to go start a game. And especially over Joe Flacco, Super Bowl MVP, uh, Pro Bowler, a guy that has proven to get it done before, maybe not recently, but now he's finally healthy. So look for Joe Flacco to keep stay on that team and maybe make a playoff run this year. We'll see. But that's just the intro. The main part of this video is talking about everything we should be looking at in the preseason as a whole. And number one, what we all want to see is going back to the rookie quarterbacks. Saw a little bit of Lamar Jackson, but we want to see Baker Mayfield out there. We want to see how he's going to react with the pros. Going new offense, we want to see Baker Mayfield, the number one pick. Everybody's saying, I, I've heard it a lot throughout camp. This guy's a couple of years away from starting. And that's hard to hear, especially in, in recent drafts and the way that the NFL has transformed over the years. A number one overall pick, hell, even most of the time, first round quarterback being picked. It's hard to hear it's going to be a couple of years before you can even think about putting them out there. So reading that just made me, made me sit back and think, like, what's going on here? Is he really just not a good quarterback? I don't know. From, from what I've seen in college, he was a great quarterback. So I just want to see him in preseason. I want to see what's going on. And then we can make an accurate judgment from there. And what, what's another quarterback? We can look at Josh Rosen. And that's a whole different can of worms over. Actually, you could say the Browns and the Cardinals are kind of in the same boat, technically. I mean, we, we obviously think Tyrod Taylor is going to start over Baker Mayfield at the beginning of the season. But with the Cardinals, it's a, it's a bit different because they have Sam Bradford there, and he's just so injury-prone. I mean, the guy, it, a, de a defender just blows on him, and all of a sudden he's got a leg issue. It's unfortunate for Sam Bradford because he's a very talented quarterback, the problem is he just can't stay healthy, and that could probably open up the door for Josh Rosen if he has definitely a good preseason, and if he wins that that backup role second string, we can definitely see Josh Rosen, and, and we see all these polls about who's going to be the rookie quarterback to make his first start, and you kind of got to think it's Josh Rosen just off the fault that... Cardinals may not want to throw him, but they may have to. They may have to throw him in because Sam Bradford's going to get hurt. But we will see. I want to see Josh Rosen out in the field. That's very interesting to see. I want to see Josh Allen out in the field. Obviously, if you've seen 
some of my videos, you know my opinion on Josh Allen, how I believe he will be the best quarterback coming out of this draft. And I want to see A.J. McCarron for the Bills also play. See how that quarterback controversy boils down to. Obviously, we want to see the Jets quarterback situation with really just Teddy Bridgewater. I want I want to see him back out in the field. I want to see Josh McCown back on the field. I want to see Sam Darnold. Really, rookie quarterbacks, it's going to be fun to watch. And maybe you want to see Mason Rudolph on the Steelers, see how he's going to perform, just to see what he's going to do compared to Big Ben in the preseason, who we might not see a whole ton of, and for good reason. He's very injury prone. We want to see Kyle Laletta of the New York Giants battle it out with Davis Webb behind Eli Manning and try and figure out who has the upper hand on second string backup role. That's definitely going to be interesting to see. And really, when I think of it, do I think anybody's going to come out and perform like Dak Prescott did in the 2016 preseason? No, but I think there could be a, a later round guy like a Kyle Laletta, like a Mason Rudolph, who could just show up out of nowhere, be a late round pick, and have an extremely good preseason over guys like Baker Mayfield and Sam Darnold. Don't be surprised if it happens again, just not to the extent that Dak took it to in 2016. Now, what's another thing that we want to look at? We want to see players coming back from injury and trying to play a little bit. RG3, we've already seen back from injury. It took a year off. We want to see RG3 progress through the next four games that he's got. We want to see Andrew Luck who, God forbid, one of my favorite players of all time watching football. I want to see him back out in the field. I heard he might play the full first quarter in the first game of the preseason. I'll, I'll have to look out for that. I want to see, really, Odell Beckham back out there. I want to see him running around back on the field. You know, we've seen a lot of practice, but we haven't seen in-game. I want to see in-game. Obviously, last year, preseason, didn't go so well for him, so they might not put him out there for a whole ton of time, but I still want to see him out there for a little bit, just a little bit. And going back to a couple quarterbacks, Deshaun Watson, torn ACL, we want to see him back out there, see if he can run around a little bit, if he still has that mobility at the start of the season. I want to see it. Carson Wentz, that's an interesting story. I'm probably going to do a separate video on, on Carson Wentz, but right now it's just, it, it, it's that was just a whole different issue. You, you see generalization is that it was just a torn ACL when it was so much more, and it was, it was such a bad tear. He's going to have to have a brace on for the rest of his career. He's not going to be the same mobile quarterback. You know what? Pump the brakes on Wentz, and they already had to in practice. They had to shut him down because he just can't handle that workload, and we're already starting the preseason. So it's not looking good for Wentz, but I'm going to have a separate video on that. Really, and a lot of people are saying, and I've seen a lot of fantasy drafts, fantasy football drafts, that people are staying away from David Johnson because of, because of the injury last year, and I think everybody's really hyping up this injury and all it was was a wrist issue it's really not something if it was a leg issue I'd be like hell he's a running back yeah we need to worry but damn a wrist issue I mean it's not that bad so pump the brakes David Johnson's gonna be just fine don't worry about him I want to see Eric Berry one of the most inspirational stories in the NFL over the past few years and seeing Eric Berry go down last year was a, was a tough sight to see in the first game. And I know he worked so hard to come back. I want to see Eric Berry out there. I want to see him light it up again. I'm a huge Eric Berry fan. He's a great man. And what we want to see is also J.J. Watt back on the field. He had that devastating -ish, uh, injury last year. And what was it? I believe it was against the Bengals in a primetime game last year. We want to see J.J. Watt back on the field. There was just so many injuries. Aaron Rodgers, too. Damn, so many injuries last year. 
we want to try and stay away from that this year, and but we want to see them all come back and just all be very good once again. And another thing, I'm hearing a lot about Khalil Mack possibly being traded. Khalil Mack's definitely the best player on that Raiders defense. One of the most game-changing players in the league, and the fact that the Raiders are thinking of trading him, wow, that, that that's interesting. That is very interesting. And I hope that doesn't happen for Khalil Mack and the Raiders because that just seems like an awesome combo right there. Khalil Mack and Derek Carr both drafted in the same draft. Bringing that team together, I, I, would, I would hate to see Khalil Mack go. And one more thing, we want to see if Aaron Donald's going to get paid. And this, we want to see if Odell's going to get paid, but goddamn, Aaron Donald is just the best defensive player in the league. And he's not getting paid. And he's holding out. So I want to see what that's going to happen. What, what What's that going to look like throughout the preseason if he's even going to have a contract? Speaking of contracts, Roquan Smith. Bears need to sign him. Jesus Christ, what are you waiting for? Enough of the charades. Just sign the man. Outrageous. But there's going to be a lot to look for in this preseason. A lot of people don't watch preseason because they think it's a waste and you know, sometimes it is. But there's a lot of storylines to look out for. So maybe tune into a couple games, see what's going on. It's definitely going to be interesting. There's going to be I'm going to be giving more updates on the preseason. Just stay tuned. That's it. That's all I got for this video. If you liked it, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember, read on, brother, and we'll see ya.